Hello everybody, welcome to English classes with Swati Datta where English is made fun and lucid. This video of mine will be on Crossing the Bar by Lord Alfred Tennyson. Tennyson was a British poet and he was close to his death when he was writing this poem. It was in 1889 when he wrote this poem. Around three years later he died. He was the poet laureate of Great Britain. He was a very famous uh, poet of his times. And uh, in the student life, we must have read many of his poems. Specifically, I should mention the poem called Break, 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 which was generally um, prescribed in the school syllabus for uh, younger classes. Now, this poem, Crossing the Bar, is very popular. This poem, it deals with death and even though it deals with death it is not a very melancholic and sorrowful poem here the poet he is very uh, placid he is accepting his death and he was quite aware of the fact that he is going to die but for him death is not the end of everything he considers that this is a beginning of a new journey he is going to meet his maker. He is going to meet the pilot, the captain of the ship, the, the father, the eternal, the divine Lord he is going to meet. So that is a very nice encounter that he had been looking forward to. Also, you must know that he wanted this poem to appear at the end of all the poems that he had written, at the end of all the collection of his works. So this is considered to be his final poem, though after this poem he had written several other works also because he lived for about three years post writing of this poem. But this poem is considered to be his last poem because that's what the poet also wanted. Now, that is how significant is this poem for you. Now, let's begin. Sunset and evening star and one clear call for me, and may there be no morning of the bar when I put out to sea. Now, it begins with sunset and evening star. Now, these two uh, images, sunset and evening star, they are representative of darkness, the approaching darkness, and they also tell you that the day has ended. And here it is not that the only it is not only that the day has ended, but it is also that the life of uh, the poet has also come to an end. That is what the poet believes. Okay, he believes that he is going to die. The death is very near right now for him. And one clear call for me. So he considers that death is calling out to him that he has to answer to this call of death, that there is a clear and mystical call from the land of death for him. And evening star here means Venus. Now Venus is the second brightest natural body in the sky after moon. So it comes, it appears right after the sunset. So he says that the sunset and this evening star, they all tell him that his life has, has come to a full circle. Now he is going to die. He is embarking his journey. And this is journey to the land of death. And may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea. Now he warns that when he is going to die, there should not be any mourning. There should not be mournful songs sung at his death because he considers death to be a happy journey where he is going to meet his maker. So he says that when I set out to the sea, when I put out to sea, I do not want people crying after me. I do not want that... There is a lot of sadness all around. So, this no mourning of the bar has another meaning. And as the word bar is introduced here in the first stanza, 
it is important to understand the meaning because this word is also there in the title crossing the bar this is the title of the poem also so bar means sand bar sand bar here the word sand bar has a meaning written here also a long land mass or a long mass of sand at the point where a river meets the sea so it is generally found at the mouth of the river okay so this uh, sandbar is in the middle just try to visualize as i say so it is acting as a barrier and on one side of the sandbar is the river and on the other side is the sea okay now please understand the poet considers this river side of the water okay as i said one side is a river water and the other side is a sea water and in between is a sandbar now the poet considers this river water to be life and he considers the other side of the water that is the sea water to be the after life okay so the life after death and he considers this sand bar in mid middle in between to be the death now he says that crossing the bar meaning this crossing the barrier of death so when one has completed his life one then reaches death and post death he goes to the land of after life meaning where he meets his god he goes to a life beyond death so this is where the title is coming from crossing the bar so once he crosses the sand bar what does he see he sees his god so this crossing is very important and this bar becomes very important because it is symbolic the sand bar is symbolic it is the barrier between the life and after life now another meaning is that that in this sand bar what happens when the water lashes okay when the water just strikes against the sand bar right there is this gurgling sound that comes out and this gurgling sound is similar to that of the moaning sound which is made when someone dies so this is also another meaning that moaning of the bar meaning then when the water is just striking against the sand bar then this sound is coming so he says that when i put out to sea when i go into my journey of death i do not want that sound okay so this is the whole first stanza for you i hope you understand the second stanza but such a tide as moving seems asleep too full for sound and form when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home now the poet as he is thinking of his own death he wants a death that is peaceful that is smooth that will take him from his this life to after life in a very peaceful manner where there won't be any violence or pain so he is comparing that he is drawing a parallel with the nature in this manner he is saying that there should be a full tide and when you know there is a full tide there is no sound and no foam because the water is filled till the brim so there is no scope of sound and foam and that is why he is expecting that such a tide such a full tide will be there when he is going to die and it will appear that he is not just simply dead but he will seem he will appear to be just sleeping and sleeping peacefully so when in the first line of the second stanza he says moving seems asleep meaning this death when he is going to make this journey his moving on the sea will look like that he has just slept it will be such a beautiful peaceful transition from life to after life so he is just making it look so beautiful that you almost start romanticizing death 
that it is a beautiful afterlife where you encounter your god you encounter the maker next he says when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home boundless deep meaning the sea where he is going to go so he says the poet believes that this life and death an afterlife this is a cycle just as in the water also in the sea the sea water the river water this water it evaporates and then it goes up and the clouds are formed and these rain bearing clouds they shed water in form of rain and we get rain and this rain water again joins the sea so you see that water just goes from the sea and then comes back to the sea just as the poet has come from this land of death and is again going back to the land of death so he is saying this this dying is not going to be a strange experience we he is not going to a strange unknown land he is going to the land where he is coming from so for us death should be like we are going back home so the last line says turns again home so he is just going to his home he has come from his home and now he is returning there so there should not be any fear there should not be any insecurity he is going to his home and when you are going home you must be happy because you are going to meet your family members so that this is a happy experience rather than a scary fearful experience so that is why this poem has become so popular because here death is dealt with in such a beautiful wonderful manner where you can actually think that death can even be a pleasant experience because already it is inevitable it is the ultimate destination of all our lives so why not look at it in a very positive way rather than looking at it as a dreadful um, final experience that we are all going to encounter one day so that was the first two stanzas of the poem crossing the bar and if you have any queries any doubt please write them in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and thanks a lot keep connected